G'day guys, it's Sam here from the Cybermen. I'm here with my lovely wife Primrose. Hi guys. And we will be opening the new draft box four for you today. Um, enjoy. All right, let's do it. Draft box four, Dragon Brawl. It'll be interesting to see the um, ratios of reprints versus new cards. Hopefully we don't get too many rubbish reprints. It'll be good to see a Whis, um foil or something like that. Maybe get us some good value. You want to grab that for me? All right, so it sleeves off. Let's open it up. All right, so we got the um, Vegeta draft leader. Uh, it definitely going to be interesting to see what decks come out of this. Um, obviously, it's got a permanent that it it's a blue leader, but it's also treated as a red, green, and yellow leader. And if it's your opponent, if your opponent's leader's back is facing up, it gets five thousand. So you can keep it on um, the unawakened side because it has critical. Only problem is you're not going to have draw power. On the other side, it is just a draw one when this card attacks. Nothing too amazing, but that permanent of making it four colors is going to be very interesting. Um, so let's get to it. I will take some of the boosters out. Here you go, dear. You can open those ones. We'll do one at a time. It's cool that the um, all the duo power rares are on the front of these boosters. Um, we'll go, we'll start with one each. Why don't we? You can just show your cards if you like. Topo Righteous Aid, that's a counter attack. Similar to the other Topo we have. Um, new card, which is good. Wake and Power Warrior Bardock, we know that's a reprint. Borgos, yellow support for Bardock's crew. Um, reprint Son Goku, another reprint Shan Shan. I'm just going to skip over these reprints because you all know what they are already. But that's, look at that already. First pack, there's five reprints and two new cards so far. But here comes the new ones. Desperate Measures. This will be really cool being able to throw stuff back to your hand. New Vanilla. Son Goten. The One Drop Oracle Fish. <laughs> and this is a reprint rare. Um, I mentioned in our article that all the reprint rare or above come in Shatterfoil. So it's pretty cool. I mean, I don't like Shatterfoil myself, but that's pretty much a new card, new art, because this rare came with a normal rare foiling um, in uh, set four, was it, I believe? Um, but now it's a Shatterfoil. Do you want to go through yours? Quick Shift, we know is a reprint. There's the new Son Goku skillless support. That's the earlier top I was speaking about. Boring. Another reprint. Crusher Ball is always good. Be cool if we get some foil ones of that. New Krillin Universe 7 support. This is the new Broly that supports both Broly BR and... Um, OG Broly, which is going to be very handy. Paternal Bonds, new counter attack, new Kale, and we have one of the new SRs, uh, Kefla, Roar of Destruction. So she's a double strike, and you can play her for two. Um, pretty good card, I think you'll see it in some U6 decks. Get my wife to help me open some packs. <laughs> Stenchful Bacterian. Yeah, more reprints. Pan. How cute. Very cute. Cabba. Always good. This is this is an, a, a cool thing about the leader again. All these negates are going to work with this leader. All the sparking negates. Um, so you can pick and choose what you want. Green Zamasu, more reprints. There's a new Gohan, more Universe 7 support. Trunks. This is, uh, there's one of these cards for every color. 
So it's a when you combo with this card on defense for one of your battle cards of the same color, it's a 10k combo, and that card gets that extra 5k for the turn. So it's almost like a Senzu without the untap. Trunks the Prankster. Some more Prince Vegeta cards. It's cool to get some more Vegeta Youth cards. It's a really nice looking card there. Here's a foil reprint. Oh no, this is the new gene, Gine. It looks very similar to the old one. Um, it's similar to a Chain Attack, where it plays a another yellow battle card from your hand, but they've made it two or less, so um, you can't destroy people. All right. Here is a card that everybody's talking about. King Vegeta, the Majestic Ruler. Um, people are worried about this card. All it is is a 6 drop, 25k, with a permanent that negates all skills of other battle cards. So any other battle card on the field is nothing unless it's um, a card that can't be negated. Um, I don't know about it. You know, it negates your skills too. So, it seems like a win-lose. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe Shen Ramp will make use of it. Reprint Vegeta. There's uh, the blue version of the yellow Roshi Negate. Uh, Universe 7, negate the attack and play this card. Toa. Kind Saiyan. Want to get some foils of that if we can. General Rildo. 30k is a great picks in draft. Um, so if you are playing this for draft, you want to look out for these. This dude. New Vanilla Majin Buu. Paternal Bonds. Another one of those Brollies. Fasha. Sun Goten. And our second rare of the set is the new green blue card. That's the first of its type that we have. Um, it's an arrival, one green, one blue energy. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of six, five or less and place it in its owner's energy in rest mode. Then your opponent chooses one card in their hand and places it in their drop area. So, you know, it's kind of a really good removal with the one caveat of it being ramping your opponent although it does go in in rest mode being able to get rid of a five drop during battle uh is pretty crazy when you read some of the names out dear <laughs> it's my wife's first time on one of our videos she's just a bit embarrassed still getting used to it aren't you <laughs> um, Morgan and Alien Bonds um, this was one of the weird assassins or something um, really didn't spend much time on the TV show but um, I actually think this is a really interesting card if you're playing a leader that's a red alien such as Cauliflower, Kefla or Kale um, you know there's others like the Hit and stuff but they're just a bit shit um, this card can buff your leader by 10k for the turn on defense um, for free as long as you've got bond to alien and it's on the field it is easy to remove it's a two drop 10k with no barrier but if your opponent doesn't get rid of it that's heavy defense for the turn it's really good great Eptoa another new vanilla we've got Lemo more reprints. A uh, new reprint. Oh. Bubbles. Um, one drop god. One drop blue god. All one drop gods we get are helpful for Beerus if it ever comes back. You know, don't sleep on it. This could be the next meta card. I'm joking. Uh, Kaba. Just a dual attack. Similar to the Gohan we got in set six. Uh, pass Weiss Moginen the Savage Strongman alright
let's open our next pack. When you open one too, too darling. Reprint. Here's a new Zamasu. Um, these cards are pretty good. They set up... They activate battle, pay one, play this card from your hand, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of one and KO it. Great to play when your opponent's attacking with something like an intensifying power of trunks or a Saiyan Kappa. Um, and then it also sets up uh, Heroes Mafuba on defense. So it's actually... These are, these are really good, and I think they will be used. Reprint. Another reprint. Another reprint. Another reprint. Weiss, the new Kale, Burning Slash, this is an interesting one. This card would be awesome if it came out a couple of months ago. This card can't be, this card's skill can't be negated, so they attack in with, your, with Victory Strife, you can negate, uh, sorry, not with Victory Strike, with a game ending uh, card, you can negate the attack. And they can't Bad Ring Laser you. Pity it came after Bad Ring Laser was banned. I mean, it still works against Swift Retaliation Cooler, but we're not seeing that in the meta much at all. Um, obviously, this some people have been confused about the wording. This doesn't stop Victory Strike's attack. Victory Strike doesn't negate the counter. It just can't be negated. Tora. There's a foil, uh, a new foil. Son Goku. And the OG himself, Super Saiyan Gotenks. This card was OP in the early um, meta. See that Shatter Foil? It's just, it makes it interesting to get these new rares because they're not the same foiling, um, which is pretty cool. My Bulma. Final Spirit Cannon. I like this card because it gives you two options. So it's never really not usable. Um, decent. Weiss, we need to foil one of those. Reprints. This is the new Mai. Um, sends a one drop to the bottom of the deck. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Might be good in draft, but... One energy to combo with a 5k and send a one drop to the bottom of the deck seems very bad. Another Burning Slash, Majin Buu. There's that Trunks again. And we have the new one drop rare Sun Goku. Choose one card from your hand and place it in your drop area. When you play this card, when you play your combo with this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode with an energy cost of three or less and KO it. Again, these are weird, like, we know the Sun Goten, Green Sun Goten, one cost 5k combo that just KOs a three drop without any restrictions, like dropping a card or it being in rest mode is better. I don't know why these exist. I assume they print them just for the draft format. And if that's how you're playing them, then that's good. Do you want to grab these off me and put them down? Um... This is the new Overrealm Trunks. This is going to be great. It's the first free Overrealm removal we have. Um, for, by free, I mean it doesn't cost any energy. Um, when you play this card using Overrealm, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and send it to the owner's warp. Um, that's excellent. Reprint again. Again. I feel like we're getting more reprints than we're getting new cards, which is a way. Here's the new Planet M2. Uh, when this card is placed in the battle area, play one Machine Mutant token. So, Machine Mutants are getting tokens. Place this card in its owner's drop area from your battle area. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of one and KO it. If you KO a card, draw one card. So, it's removal and you get a 10k body. Not bad. Sun Gohan, Bubbles. Here's another Underling. Um, you can include as many copies of this card in your deck as you like feel like I would like to include no copies of this card in my deck, so I'm glad that I have the choice. Uh, Bond 2, Alien. When you, It gets 5,000 power when you've got another Alien in play. Really, you know, why don't I just play a 2-drop um, bloody 20k? I don't get it. 
See you later. Mercenary Tower the Master. This card gets... Activate main. This card gets 10,000 power and dual attack for the duration of the turn. Not bad for two energy. I mean, you have to pay one energy to get its skill off, but you can keep using it. Not bad. What was that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the new Sun Goku skillless support. This card gets 3000 power for each skillless battle card in your drop area has critical. And if there are two or more skillless battle cards in your drop area, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two. So it can be a three drop heavy hitter with critical. Not bad. If you're playing probably red skillless, um, in draft, it will probably see play because there are so many skillless cards in this draft box. So, good shout. Is more um, kill Krillin support. Some reprints. More reprints. More reprints. Another little wiggly dude. M2. Bulma. One of the. There's three Bulma. Um, themed cards in this deck um, when you play with play this card from your hand look at up to three cards from the top of your deck choose up to one extra card with an energy cost of one among them and add it to your hand then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order this is awesome being able to search your deck for a skillless battle uh, skill sorry for an extra card is actually really strong and we haven't really seen much of it before other than say golden freezer prison it's pretty good oracle fish Ooh, here's another SR. It's only our second SR that we've pulled. Um, not liking the ratio. Second SR and we've had a bunch of packs. Um, Grade 8 Bardock, Raiders Mark Warcry. Uh, this is a two-cost combo, 10k. When you combo with this card, if your leader card is yellow, at the end of battle, play this card. And then when you play this card, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Um... It's got double strike 20k definitely it's very good value um but it can brick your hand really hard if if you got a couple in there uh, i could see apes coming back with maybe broly leader um this will be included champa champa giving double strike again as he always does reprint it's the new goku um these are all based around 10k battle cards. Um, if the, it has a permanent, if there are less than two battle cards in your battle area with an original power of 10k, this card can't attack. So you need to really fill your board up with 10k's. And then if you activate main, if there are two or more cards in your battle area with an original power of 10k, self awaken, choose one card in your life and add it to your hand, and it gets 5,000 power and critical for the duration of the turn. Seems like a more difficult way of self-awakening and having a 15k critical body you might as well just use tenacious spirit gohan um or whatever it's called or intensifying power trunks reprints this is going to be good in draft with all the apes we got god strike beerus that's not a new one is it no no one plays that card the master is back Shu, here to ruin all of our days um if your battle card in battle is blue, when you combo with this card, it gets plus 5,000 combo for the duration of the turn. Um, it's a, another one like that, Trunks. Niagara Drop. This is a good card. It's like a two-cost Senzu Bean almost for red. Um, if your leader card is a red Saiyan card, choose one of your leader cards or battle cards, and for the duration of the turn, that card gets 5,000 power. And then if your life is at three or less, and if it's your turn... If it's your opponent's turn, choose up to one of your energy and switch it to active mode and draw one card. So much value. That is going to be awesome. Another bomber, another trunks. Here we have the one drop rare Durin. So this is a crazy card. Again, it lends itself to the 10k battle cards. You'll probably see this played in Gogeta as an alternate win con. Um, you can only have one of them in the battle area. It has barrier. And when there are 10 or more battle cards in your drop area with 10,000 power... At the start of your main phase, for the duration of the turn, this card gets 25,000 power and double strike, dual attack. Um, oh my god, how annoying is that? Double strike, dual attack, and it cannot be 
And your opponent can't activate counter skills unless they place two cards from their hand in the drop area as an additional cost. It's really a strong card for one energy, but it has a lot of um, caveats that you need to look out for. Trunks, Dimensional Sniper again. Reprint of Kale. There's another Gine. Dark Duo Devora, Kami, Godstrike Beerus, Tora, Trunks the Prankstar, there's another Niagara Drop, King Sun, and here's another SR, finally. Um, seven Drop Weiss with Double Strike and Barrier, only one Weiss, the Keeper of the Universe 7, can be played in your battle area, and if you have two or more multicolored cards in your energy, reduce the cost of this card in your hand by two. So it's a five drop. Um, when your opponent's card attacks a leader card, you may negate the attack if you do negate the skill for the duration of the turn. So, 5 energy, but it's a guaranteed negate um, every turn, which is pretty good, especially if you're playing Beerus Ramp. I think that's what this is to help with. Um, I feel like maybe we can see a resurgence. It's definitely not going to be meta, but it will be cool to see some at Locals. Thank you. More reprints. Uh, here's Android support in blue. We're going to see some blue, uh, green Android cards in the next set with Android 21. Um, this is great in draft because it's two energy to play, 15k body, and then activate main once per turn, tap two energy and draw a card. Not the best value in constructed, but in draft, when you need that extra draw, having that on the field could really help. Kind Saiyan. More reprints. Crushable. Burning Slash, Bubbles. There's another of the Bulma trio. Um, when you play this card, look up to five cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one battle card with an energy cost of one among them. Add it to your hand and then shuffle your deck. Good to have alternate searches, I think. It's really good. Paternal Bonds. There's uh, another foil um, from the new set, Champa. And Nail. Um, great card in draft. New foiling is interesting, as always. I'm trying to encourage my wife to have some input, but she's too shy. Um, this is going to be really cool. Um, if we had... If you're playing a red aggro deck, you could use this. I mean, it's not anything revolutionary, but chain attack into Majin Buu, the reincarnator. When the, when you play this card, choose up to one one red battle card with an energy cost of three or less in your drop area and play it. So you can chain attack into this, into Fearless Pan, and you've got, instantly got, you know, three bodies on board with double strike and plus 5k. It's pretty strong. I might make something with this just for the cheese. Whis, group leader Pilaf, Kaba. All reprints, what is happening? There's another shoe. Giru. I like that card. It looks nice. Um, interesting to note that you can play this for free with um, Dr. Mew, which is pretty good. 10k on board. It's another Broly. Chiaotzu. And there's a Fearless Pan reprint, which is not a bad one to have. Great card. And interesting. It's in Shadowfoil, as you can see. Um, Definitely won't turn my nose up at it. Most of the reprints are a waste of time for me, but this this is a good card. Still haven't seen a duo power rare. I've heard they are unbelievably tough to get. They're going to be expensive. Reprint. There's the Gine. Crushable. Krillin. Chiaotzu. Uh, I didn't mention this before. This is a revenge blocker, um, but it's three energy. I think it's too expensive. I mean, it can't be removed by things like negging 5k, Planet M2 and stuff like that, which is good because it's a 19k, but I still don't reckon it's worth it. There's Bulma's mom again. Interesting that she doesn't have a name. Mrs. Brief, probably. Uh, my. Uh, there's another foil. That's a new card. When you play this card, choose one. Draw one card. Or choose up to one of your skillless battle cards with an energy cost of one. And it gets 10,000 power 
for the duration of the turn. It's cool. It's a god. It has two uses. I love cards that you can you get a choice. It's a lot of value there. And in skillless, it could be really good. But you're going to have to play some 10k skillless cards. Reprint of the U7 Freezer. Shadowfoil. Whatever. <laughs> Kale, remote serious bomb. People were freaking out about this card for a, for a while. I don't think it's that amazing. I mean, it is good one energy for removal, but your opponent gets to choose the card. They can't choose barrier. I know your opponent's choosing the card, but it's still your skill choosing the card. So they can't choose barrier cards. If they have an indestructible card on board, they can just choose that card and it can't be removed. But if they do have just one big threat on board, then it's good you'll be able to remove it for one energy without wait, especially in a black deck you're not wasting your overrun for the turn so put these over here Toa March reprints there's that Cabra again with dual attack tights there's another Bulma Bulma trio I think it's four Bulma cards or Bulma family cards if you have a skillless battle card in play, when you play this card, draw one card and choose up to one of your skillless battle cards, it gets 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. I reckon it's a really good card. It would have been great if it was one energy. I don't see it being played. Two, two energy is too much, especially for a 1k. If it was a 10k, maybe it's a waste. Desperate Measures, Oracle Fish, Foil Dimension Magic. While we already have foils of these, it's still a good foil to get. And there is the new blue-yellow arrival. When you play this card, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and negate its skill for the duration of the turn. Great to stop a double strike when they've gone all in. People aren't doing that very often these days because they know of all this kind of stuff, but it's still another option. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, what? What happened? You bent. <laughs> you bent them. Oh, God, you did. She bent them. Hopefully there's no... Good card in here. Um, Kaken is a reprint. Another Borgos. Transcendent Strike. Blah, blah, blah. Reprint, reprint. There's another Krillin. Yeah. Whis. Sasha. King Vegeta SR. That's a nice looking card. Um, funny that you can't play this in the King Vegeta leader deck because... It has the auto, if your leader card is green, uh, King Vegeta's red, but if your leader card is green, when you play this card, choose up to two battle cards in your drop area with an energy cost of two or less and 10,000 power. Negate their skills, play them, and they get 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. Interesting because it does a very similar thing to the leader as well. I guess that's the theme around King Vegeta. Um, activate main, choose one of your battle cards and place it in your drop area. This card gains double strike for the duration of the turn. Um, Good value. I, I think this is a great card if you're just playing kind of aggro. Not too many left. It looks like we have eight left, eight boosters left, and we still haven't got a duo power rare. It's the Roshi Negate. And that's the last of the Bulma family. Dr. Brief, father of a genius. Um, it's two cost 10k and tap three energy, one specified green. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less and KO it. I don't know. In draft, it's really good for removal, but you know we have better options. Even in green, you can use the four drop Piccolo um, SR or the even the four drop Piccolo SR from this set, which is removal without an extra cost. Just the four to play it in the first place. IP trunks, ancient magic, all reprints. Giru, Dende, Otomo. Reprint Saiyan Prince, Universe 7 Saiyan Prince Vegeta, I should say. Um, Shadow Foiling on that. Very good in draft. Was never really that good in Constructed. It's just too expensive. But it will help a lot if you're playing the draft format. Okay. Why don't you go through them and I'll talk about them. <laughs> no? Tian Shinhan, Universe 7 United. More Universe 7 support. Reprint, reprint, reprint. After image technique, yeah. 
Another dead day. My Kaba. Planet M2. Oh, it looks like this might be a good pack. Um, Dr. Mew, Weapon Surplus. Um, auto Burst 3. When you play this card, choose up to one of your green and... Up to one green Android card with an energy cost of three or more, or one green extra card with an energy cost of two or less in your drop area and add it to your hand. That's a mouthful. Um, this is pretty cool. Retrieving stuff, especially especially extra cards from your drop area, is not very common. Um, and more Android support is always good. Um, annoying that he's not an Android himself, of course. It could They could have made it Dr. Jero or something. might have been a bit better, but still a decent card to look out for. Here's our first DPR, um, Kaba, Saiyan Tag Team. Unfortunately, it's probably one of the most underwhelming um, DPRs in terms of functionality. Uh, all it is is a barrier blocker for three energy, and then at the end of your turn, switches cards to active mode. I mean, it's good. You get an attack and a defend, but it's not as good as some of the others. It's looking like it might be an SPR type situation where you get one per box, um, which is good for the value of the cards, but bad for the collectors in, if you're trying to get a whole set. Kamehameha, um, activate main, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and place it at the bottom of its owner's deck. This is decent removal. Um, Janemba might see this. But yeah, it's it's good. It's not bad. It's not amazing. It's not bad. New Shigesh doesn't do what the old Shigesh does. <laughs> Did <laughs> reprints, reprints. Um, Bomber's mom, Vegeta. Desperate measures, Fasha. There's the rare Champa, five drop. If there are any red god or alien cards in play in your battle area other than this card, this card gains plus 6,000 power and gets double strike and critical. Not bad, 25k double strike critical, but it's still 5 energy. There's better plays out there. They're really trying to make the old um, red aliens work. See what it does, see if people catch on, who knows. Um, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and it gets minus 20,000 power for the duration of the turn. That makes it a bit more valuable. Removal through barrier is always good. All right. Here you go. You can have all of this. Fascia is another topo. Reprint, reprint. We haven't seen, as far as I remember, any foil... Um, old uh, reprints of set one or two which is a bit sad only got four packs left after this one tights Bajin Boo, Kale, Bomber, North Kai when you play this card draw one card place this card in its owner's drop area choose up to one of your one blue Sun Goku with an energy cost of three or less than 15,000 power in your drop area and play it uh, it costs three energy because you're playing one to play it and two to bring the Goku out. So you're paying full price for that Goku, but you do get a draw. Um, it is a cantrip, but uh, not nothing special. Reprint to you. Thank you, assistant. Broly, this is this will be really good in um, draft because it's r removal that's always there. Broly, reprint, reprint. Kind Saiyan, Niagara Drop, Chiru, Chiaotzu, Sun Goten, and I was wrong. We've got another duo power rare. That's good. Piccolo Master and Pupil. This card is very good. It's one of the best duo power rares in the set. Um, it's a two drop 15k and then it's similar to everybody's pal Yamcha, but you're digging deeper and you've got more targets. So you go, it's auto burst three. That's the caveat. When this card attacks, look up to five, add up to five cards from the top of your deck, choose up to one battle card with a combo power of 10k among them and add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So you're getting super combos with this. You're getting your arrival cards with this. You're getting your bombs with this. 
this card will be very, very good in a bunch of decks, especially things like the Kaoken deck where you're trying to burst to fill up your drop. Watch this card. It's going to go up in price, I reckon. There we go. Oh, that's our first one of these. More um, Universe 7 blue Android support. 15k critical for 2 energy. We've seen a lot of those, but the fact that it's an Android 17 means it could be could work well in, in a resurgence of a cell type deck. Make a freezer reprint. There's the other Android. Go straight Beerus. Shu. Dende. Tights. Son Goku and a Deadly Defender Vegeta. This is pretty much a straight reprint since these cards were already um, by set six, we or set five, this is from we already had Shatterfoil, so meh. Two more packs, what can we get? Let's get at least an SR. Zamasu, reprint, Caring Mother. Yeah, more reprints, it's very uninspiring. Tora. Desperate Measures. Reprint Kaba. Um, this is a Shatterfoil, which it wasn't before. This is a great card in draft. Um, having an uncounterable attack to finish them off is very good. A third duo power rare. So I was very wrong about that one per box. Um, this, is, this is a good one too. Uh, it works well with its counterpart, which... Funnily enough, as they're, even though they're kind of link cards, a lot of them don't work too well together. But um, this is a 4k blocker. You might think that's terrible. But if your opponent has three or more energy and Son Goku, Father and Son isn't in play in your battle area, when an opponent's battle card is switched to rest mode by a skill, activate the skill, you may play this card from your hand. So you're technically playing it for free. It's good in a universe um, six or yellow deck that taps energy down you obviously can't play it with the Cabalita but you're getting free bodies on board and then with the counterpart which is the Bardock he's his effect plays the Bardock for free when you I believe when you tap an opponent's energy card down and he taps it down for you so then it activates this card and you're getting two bodies in play for free or for one energy I can't recall exactly but it's very good value in a deck that already taps stuff down like with the Broly leader Last, Last pack. I feel like after those three, I don't think we're going to be too lucky, but let's see. Son Goku. Reprint. New pan. Reprint. Kami. Kappa. Dimension Magic. Oracle Fish. Ah, these are new cards. I should be putting them here. Too excited. Deluge of Power. Trunks. Here's the new Beerus. Such a nice looking card. Looks like someone just woke him up from his nap. Not too happy. Um, dual attack. Barrier. When this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's cards, ignoring barrier and KO it. Really awesome to be able to just remove anything. But seven energy. Green. I don't see people playing this. If In draft, you can maybe get there. That'll be the game winding up. But in constructed, it's just really not valuable. Um, obviously, being able to remove anything... Any battle card ignoring barrier is strong, but getting to seven energy in a deck that uses green cards is a very unlikely. And that is it. Let's just go through what put, what we pulled. Um, check through that for me and see if I put any rares in there by accident. All right, we'll go through the new cards first. So as for rares, we've got the Beerus. Duo power rare. Goku, Piccolo, and Kaba. So three dual power rares. I'm opening some more boxes. We'll be opening boxes on stream uh, in a couple of days. So we'll see if that's a three cost in. Thank you. See if that um, three per box, if that's a thing. Or um, there's the new Son Goku. Here's a reprint that I mixed in. Is a foil, so we didn't get many foils. Um, we only have 
a couple of foils. I, I only saw a few reprint foils and none of them were really anything I'm happy about getting, but what can you do? Jiren Rare. Goku, Bardock SR. Mercenary Tower. Goku. Son Goku and Son Gohan. There's the King Vegeta. There's the Kefla. And there's the Gino. So. Thanks for watching, guys. That Thanks, was our guys. draft box for opening. We'll be back with more content in the coming days. Um, subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook, and have a good day. Cheers.